In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on January 30th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. North Carolina vs. Georgia Tech the upcoming basketball matchup between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the North Carolina Tar Heels is set to take place on Tuesday, with the Yellow Jackets playing host. In their most recent game, North Carolina secured a victory against Florida State, while Georgia Tech faced defeat on the road against Virginia Tech. Notably, these two teams clashed once before in December 2022, with North Carolina emerging victorious with a commanding 75-59 win at home, where they were favored by 13 and a half points. North Carolina currently holds a distinct advantage across various offensive and defensive categories. The team's performance places them in a superior position, but they must not underestimate Georgia Tech. A noteworthy aspect is their close contests against Duke, losing by a mere five points at home and winning by four points on December 2nd. However, North Carolina has also suffered unexpected home losses, including an eight-point defeat to Boston College and a surprising overtime loss to a struggling Notre Dame team. On the road, they have convincingly beaten Boston College, NC State, Clemson, and Pittsburgh by double digits. With an arguably top-notch defense in the conference, the Tar Heels are poised to face a struggling Yellow Jacket offense that has failed to surpass 70 points in the last three games. The Tar Heels' proficiency on the offensive glass is likely to translate into securing valuable second-chance points. Given Georgia Tech's low turnover rate on defense, North Carolina's offense is anticipated to have the freedom to execute its strategies. The Tar Heels' dominance in Atlantic Coast Conference competition, except for challenges from Florida State positions them as strong contenders. In contrast, Georgia Tech has suffered significant defeats against less formidable opponents this season, making an upset seem unlikely. Therefore, the North Carolina Tar Heels to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Despite the Tar Heels ranking in the top 50 for adjusted tempo, there are factors suggesting that the Yellow Jackets might struggle to surpass the 70-point mark for the fourth consecutive game. North Carolina's defense has proven to be stifling, consistently denying opponents opportunities for second-chance points. Additionally, Georgia Tech struggles at the free-throw line, coupled with their reliance on outside shots, particularly in recent games, make it challenging to envision them contributing significantly to surpassing the projected total. North Carolina's formidable defense is unlikely to provide any favors to the Yellow Jackets in terms of scoring from a distance. Consequently, we anticipate that Georgia Tech will struggle to contribute to pushing the total points scored in the game beyond the projected total. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Marquette vs. Villanova Villanova is poised to reverse their recent misfortunes as they prepare to host the formidable number 9 Marquette in a highly anticipated Big East showdown scheduled for Tuesday. In their latest clash, the Golden Eagles demonstrated dominance by defeating Seton Hall 75-57 at home, emerging triumphant as minus 11 favorites. Conversely, the Wildcats engaged in a grueling double overtime battle against Butler, succumbing to an 88-81 defeat as plus one and a half underdogs. A mere fortnight ago, these two teams collided, resulting in a convincing 87-74 victory for the Golden Eagles on their home turf, with odds favoring them at minus six and a half. This season, Marquette boasts a 1-9-1 against the spread record, while Villanova stands at 10-10 against the spread. Despite sinking an impressive 14 three-pointers in the mid-January encounter, the Wildcats found themselves on the losing end, shooting at an overall rate of 47.2%. In stark contrast, Marquette excelled with a 58.7% shooting accuracy, securing 37 field goals. Their ball control was commendable, with a mere three turnovers.
turnovers. While they forced 12 turnovers from Villanova, the rematch is expected to unfold in a more closely contested manner, considering the venue and an enhanced understanding of each team's strengths. Villanova struggles on their home court, evidenced by a 1-3 against the spread record in their last four games, while Marquette has an impressive 5-0 against the spread record against the Wildcats in their recent encounters. During their victory over Seton Hall, the Golden Eagles made a significant impact in the second half, relying on their depth to secure the win. Notably, leading scorers Tyler Kolick and Cam Jones contributed just seven points combined, while Marquette's bench outscored Seton Hall's 14-2. Despite a slow start, the Golden Eagles never relinquished control, showcasing resilience throughout the game. It is my belief that this resilience will prove pivotal, instilling confidence in the Golden Eagles that they can seize control of the game at any moment, irrespective of individual player performance. The upcoming matchup against the Wildcats, who ranked 294th in field goal percentage and 240th in three-point percentage, is an opportune moment for Marquette to leverage their defensive prowess. While Marquette may not excel in three-point shooting, their proficiency inside the arc positions them as one of the top teams nationally. Villanova's offensive struggles persist, and they are anticipated to face significant challenges in the upcoming game. With an average of 77.5 points per game this season, Marquette is poised to exploit Villanova's offensive deficiencies and secure a convincing victory. The Wildcats' inability to match Marquette's scoring prowess leaves them vulnerable, making Marquette to cover the spread as underdogs are full-game side pick. The initial showdown between these two teams witnessed a combined score of 161 points, surpassing the total set at 145. However, throughout the current season, 24 of their games have trended towards the under. Ken Palm rankings place Villanova at 330th in the country for tempo, in stark contrast to Marquette's 84th position. While the Golden Eagles possess a potent offense capable of generating substantial points, they also exhibit the ability to control the pace and strategically set up plays for higher percentage shots. In five of their last seven games, Marquette scored 75 points or less, demonstrating versatility. Meanwhile, Villanova's offensive inconsistencies are evident, as seen in their recent double overtime struggle to reach 81 points, coupled with a subpar 50-point performance in the preceding game. The under has prevailed in six of the last 10 meetings between these teams. As a result, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Oklahoma vs. Kansas State The upcoming clash between the number 11 Oklahoma Sooners and the Kansas State Wildcats on Tuesday adds another chapter to the intense competition within the formidable Big 12 Conference. This conference, widely acknowledged as the toughest in the nation, is currently poised to secure a remarkable nine teams in the NCAA tournament, as projected by Bracketology, a feat unmatched by any other league, none of which anticipates more than seven entries. Recent performances set the stage for an intriguing matchup, with Oklahoma Oklahoma coming off a closely contested home loss to number 20 Texas Tech. Facing a 85-84 defeat as three-and-a-half-point favorites, while Kansas State suffered a decisive 74-52 defeat at the hands of number four Houston, failing to cover the 14-and-a-half-point spread as underdogs. Notably, these teams split their conference meetings in the previous season, each securing a victory on their respective home courts. Oklahoma's offensive prowess emerges as a defining aspect of their gameplay, averaging an impressive 79 points per game. This scoring efficiency surpasses that of Kansas State who posts a slightly lower 73 points per game. This distinction becomes crucial, especially in high-pressure situations where every point matters. Analyzing shooting metrics, Oklahoma further establishes its superiority with a field goal percentage of 48, outshining Kansas State's 43.7. This indicates a more effective and consistent scoring ability for the Sooners. Additionally, Oklahoma excels in three-point shooting and free throws, pivotal skills in securing victories in closely contested games. Defensively, the Sooners hold an edge, particularly in limiting opponents' three-pointers, a crucial aspect when facing Kansas State's offensive strategies. Considering these statistical advantages, the Sooners, characterized by strategic resilience and offensive proficiency, position themselves strongly for success in this matchup. Their ability to outscore and outmaneuver Kansas State, especially in critical moments, establishes them as clear favorites in this Big 12 clash. Consequently, the Oklahoma Sooners to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. 
Turning attention to the overall team dynamics, both Oklahoma and Kansas State exhibit stronger defensive capabilities compared to their offensive performances. Oklahoma boasts the 27th best defense in terms of efficiency, overshadowing their 54th ranked defense. Kansas State, on the other hand, displays an even larger disparity, holding the 22nd position in defense, but ranking 132nd in offense. Notably, neither team plays at a fast tempo, with Oklahoma holding the 181st ranked pace of play and Kansas State adopting an even slower pace at 246. Key players like Perry and Carter for Kansas State are anticipated to exert control over the game, setting the tempo to their advantage. A noteworthy trend emerges in both teams' recent performance, with Kansas State experiencing seven consecutive games going under the total in the middle of the season and repeating this trend in three of their last five games. Similarly, Oklahoma has gone under in three of their last four games, signaling a phase where they are not at their peak performance, having suffered two consecutive losses at home. According to Ken Palm, the adjusted tempo for Oklahoma and Kansas State stands at 67.8 and 66.7, respectively, indicating a moderate pace of play. This suggests that the upcoming game is likely to prioritize defensive strategies and control defensive maneuvers, rather than evolving into a high-scoring shootout. Notably, Oklahoma's defense, allowing only 67 points per game, aligns with Kansas State's similar concession rate of 68 points, hinting at a game where scoring may not come easily. Both teams have demonstrated the ability to restrict opponents' scoring, particularly from beyond the arc, a trend anticipated to persist in this matchup. Considering these defensive strengths and the moderate pace of play, under the projected total is our full game total pick, aligning with the expectation of a closely contested, defensively oriented matchup. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.